What's up guys? Today I'm giving a review on a Netflix original show that I recently just started watching. Uh, this is my first impression of it because I've literally just gone through the first episode only. Um, but I really wanted to share my initial thoughts and then I was going to go through the entire series and then give you my full review of the season. So the show is called Raising Dion. Um, and actually it was a comic that was transformed into a live action. And so I had seen, I actually knew before that it was going to be a comic. So I was really excited to kind of see this come into, you know, real life and, and just to see how the story was going to pa uh, play out. I really like the story, you know, when I was reading, I was reading a short article um, on it, about it. And I really liked the story. I thought it was a really different perspective of kind of seeing, you know, a mother, you know, raise her child and then seeing this child go into like a kid hero to hopefully an adult hero. Um, unfortunately, I have not read the comic, so I'm going in this with fresh eyes. Let's just jump into it. Before I do, I would like to say I am sorry for the way I look. Uh, I am not feeling very well right now, so this is my heating pad. <laughs> For anybody wondering and so yeah I'm just I'm still rolling with it so let's go on so the show is surrounded by this young child named Dion who has super special powers um, it's kind of hard to say what his powers are from the first episode I mean he's got telekinesis going on and that's kind of the first thing we see um, but he also kind of has this ability to, I guess, stop time, possibly. Can't remember if the serial is actually moving, but he looks like he can possibly stop time and also use telekinesis. The show starts off, you know, very lighthearted, but you can kind of feel that the mother's on edge on pretty much everything. Uh, I will say my initial thought, the weakest part of this series is the characters. Um, I'm sorry, not the characters, the actors. The actors are really, really hard to let go and digest. Um, and it's a combination of both of them. This child is so, I feel bad saying he's bad at acting. Like. I feel so bad you know he's a child I get it he's learning but it's horribly bad to the point where you just you know you watch a series and you know if an actor just does their job right you get you know in bought you know you know you get invested in the series you go into their world you know there's not a moment for you to really check out a reality or check into reality but with the show I caught myself constantly just being in awe of this child's acting because for me it was just so bad and it kept taking me back out of reality and I just had a really hard time getting over it. His mother also is very over dramatic in her acting um, and she plays off of him and it's hard because there's a lot of times where you know it's not a serious scene but he kind of makes it seem really serious but she's not making it serious so there's a lot of mashup of like them going through different emotions i don't want to say that the mother is a bad actor it's just i just don't i feel like she almost doesn't even know what to do with the kids acting and she's just doing the best that she can um but unfortunately it's just not a good combo like i feel like she's more of a big sister than a mom um, and I'm just having a hard time believing that this is her kid, you know, uh, it's just a very awkward thing to get by. And like some examples, cause I just don't, I don't, I just don't want to give a critique and not give examples. So one of the biggest, <laughs> there's a few, but so there's the cat, uh, there's the scene with the lake or the cabin, I should say, when she takes him out to the cabin, uh, she starts, she walks into a certain room, she starts having a flashback. And all of a sudden she's brought back into reality with Dion screaming. And I mean, not screaming, screaming, but like he's calling her name in a way that I feel like any mother would be like, oh my God, something's wrong, you know? Help! Mom! Mom! I'm not a mom. And I felt that, I felt it. I felt that cry in my heart. And the way that the character, the way that she proceeds to walk out the cabin, I'm like, what is she doing? Her kid's in trouble. Her kid needs her because of the way that this child is calling her. Help me! Hey. Dion, 
that boat is so old, it probably doesn't even float. It was, really, it was a really bad scene because it made you feel like something major was going to happen. There's also, I really have a serious issue with the way that this kid just brings this character to life. Like... <sighs> um, mom? I said it's fine, just brush your teeth. How? It's okay, mom. They're playing. Hey, D, stop that. Hey, stop that, okay? That's cheating. What? Get him away. Water. Oh, okay. You know what? Just leave it in the water. It's almost as if this child has, this is like his first acting gig. Like, that's just kind of how it seems. There is a scene when they're sitting in the boat and, you know, he's he ends up doing something while he's sitting in there and his hands are just like, like, without really like some sort of, you know, command or any sort of action to make you feel like it's him. He's just like, <laughs> and it's just a very frustrating thing to watch. Put them down. Good. Because it's just not coming together for you. There's a scene in the series where he jumps and he uses his power to levitate for a very long time and perform a skate trick. And when he's done doing the skate trick, you literally see like a, the rope <laughs> uh, still on his shirt. And me and my fiance were like, like we instantly noticed it. It's not something that you won't notice. <laughs> uh, so it's very funny. And it was funny in a way like you're like damn like I shouldn't I, I shouldn't be noticing this because you know it's it's a Netflix original it's it's you know it's it's a money you know that they have money so it's like eh, like how did that happen <laughs> um, somebody just wasn't like awake that day he also has an obsession with calling his powers magic um, which I mean I get it they are in a sense but he starts doing this constant chant of abracadabra, abracadabra, abracadabra every single time and it's the most obnoxious thing like I never thought that I'd be annoyed Okay, you could stop. And it's almost like, you know, when you're having an anxiety attack and you're like, Everything, everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine. Like that's, is it really gonna make you feel better though? Cause it's never for me. Never, never have I ever sat there going, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. And I'm fine. Like it just doesn't work that way. It gives you the impression that he can sort of control his powers, but then it's a quick, he can't control it. But then there's scenes like the boat scene where he levitates the fish out of the water. He even levitates <laughs> drops of water to orb these fishes. But then all of a sudden, oh, and my, I'm sorry. And he also gently puts the fishes down, but all of a sudden that causes him to whirlwind out of power and he starts causing like a huge wind cyclone. It's things like that where you're like, Mm, the, but the precision though like how did he go from one situation of like I got it to I don't got it I don't got it I don't got it it's just like it's too much for me because it causes me to think too much and I just feel like the way that they're trying to present this character they're just not doing a good enough job and it's a real drag because I was like I was so excited for this I was really excited to see this come out and play and I gotta say it's just not I don't know. And I'm not saying that he can't get better, you know? This is this is the first episode. I from the first episode to the end of season 1, he could go he could get better by leaps and bounds cuz maybe, you know, they're aware that he, maybe he's not a good actor, but they're like, "Hey, we'll work on him." And so, he could he could easily become better and so can she. She can play with him a little bit better. But the way that they're behaving now, it's just very cringy to watch and it keeps taking you out of their world 
it actually reminds me of, I believe the series is called Somewhere in Between or Somewhere Between. And it's the show with the lady who her child ends up getting taken and killed and she starts going back into time and she's like repeating, I think a week ahead. Uh, it reminds me a lot of that show because the daughter and the mother have a weird disconnect. The mother is like super dramatica and she belongs like in a novella. And so it's, it's, it's kind of giving me those vibes. So far, the best thing in this series is that Michael B. Jordan is in it. And he's doing, you know, his, he's doing his Michael B., you know. Uh, but he's just not enough to make me really see the potential in this show. And it's just, like, very scary because I really wanted to like this show. And I really want to watch it. But it's hard for me not to notice those things. I am not going to rate the first episode because I have not seen it in its entirety yet. So I'm going to finish the first season and then I'll rate the season based on that. So for now, I will just say uh, look forward to my review of the full season, which hopefully I can finish sometime soon. Uh, it's, it's been kind of hard for me to get back into it, but I really want to finish it to just see if maybe I'll feel different uh, at the end of this season. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.